Hello everyone on YouTube, welcome back. This is Jordan here bringing you another video and today we're going to be, um, I'm going to be showing you around the Casio CTK651. So, um, let's take a look at the front panel of the keyboard. Here you have uh, the drum pads and uh, you get six of those. So you can just have some fun with those. And at the bottom here we have the registration memory banks, each containing six styles that are styles and voices and settings that Casio have predefined already. Over here you've got your, uh, I think they're supposed to be your arrow buttons, and here you've got your voice and style button. So that one's your your tones goes through your tones, and that one goes through all the voices. And these this is your number keypad, and these and those are your keys here. And here you have your Casio chord switch, which turns on the accompaniment, which Casio calls Casio chord. And here's the volume that's volume switch. The keyboard can't get any louder. And uh, the top button's here. Uh, this one's for your. Uh, this one's for your reverb. I don't know what all these other buttons do, but I know the button here is for recording. So that's for your recording button. This button here is for your song. And uh, and that. And uh, your transpose feature as well. Um, yeah. And uh, let's go over to our accompaniment controls. Here's your play button. Uh, here's your intro button. Ending button. Variation A and variation B. This keyboard has a hundred styles. And um, yeah, I'd. It's a shame I can't tell you what all those other buttons do because I haven't had a proper chance to play with this thing. At the back here we have our adapter slot and our MIDI ports and you get headphone jack too. So now we're going to listen to some uh, more we're going to listen to some more voices. So let me put the let me put the phone down on the keyboard's clunky display. I know it's not like the proper displays you get on keyboards these days, but let's listen to some sounds. So I'm going to play you a few sounds, I'm not going to play you all of them. So here's Casio's awesome piano sound. And then we have the... Uh, clave. Oh yeah, there's a pitch bend here as well, so if you wanted to, you could just mess about. It's nice to the touch as well, it's like a wheel, unlike on this PSRE463 where it's got a dent on the bottom. And here we have our vibraphone. This is how, this is as good as you're going to get on a keyboard around about this time. And we have our marimba. I'm trying to do the air phone ringtone. There we go. That's how you do it. I'm trying to do the air phone ringtone. And then we have our... Uh, our tubular bells. And then we have a dulcimer. And we have some organ sounds. This is one of the best organ sounds I've ever heard on keyboards like this. And then we have the 
church organ. Now that is how a real church organ should sound. Casio, Casio do make quite a lot of good church organs, by the way. I mean, uh, our local church had a Casio church organ. See, this is how a real church organ should sound. Compare that to what you see, to what you hear on Yamaha keyboards. YouTube. Now, Jeremy C. Compose a cinematic game trailer in 10 minutes. Can I do it? Attachment. Just another stupid notification. Anyway, let's move on. We have our uh, harmonica. I'm making that harmonica sound like it's just crying after it's had an injection. <laughs> so you can really do something crazy with that harmonica if you wanted, with, with the combination of the pitch bend wheel and all that. Or just go crazy like this. Or like this. I mean, there's, there's so much you can do. The pitch bend, uh, you can't change the pitch bend range, unfortunately. I think, where's the accordion? Yeah, this is your accordion. Then we have Bangomion. Bandonian, should I say. And that's our guitar sound. I'm going to end it there because I don't want to show you all the voices. And um, now I'm going to go ahead and turn on Casio chord and show you some rhythms. Yeah. And now I'm showing you my favourite rhythm, 90s pop beat. With my styles, I don't like to use one-touch settings on Casios. I've got, I'm very fussy when it comes to Casio keyboards because I don't like to use reverb on them or my uh, or one-touch. Let's listen to this next style. Man, that is just one awesome style. A lot. See, this is why this is why Yamaha should really make their styles good on these on their keyboards right now. Because at the moment, Casio's making good styles. Here's another good one. There's something wrong with this phone. Twenty percent close button. The battery's draining so quick. 
Focus and I think it's a problem Image. with the phone altogether. Double and um, let me tell you, Apple phones have always had trouble. Take picture. Stop recording video. Button. Which is why I think Android is a lot better than app than than that. But it's my personal opinion, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue. Uh, one last style before I end the video, because my phone, being a baby, wants to be charged. Again, when I've just charged it up to 30 odd percent. Wow. All our phone batteries are degraded and there's nothing you can do about it. Anyway, let's move on to the last style I want to show you. And that's it for the Casio CTK. Focus Bloody hell. Image. I mean, for a minute. Whatever. Uh, I mean, for a minute. Slip of the tongue there. Uh, that was my video of the Casio CTK651. And then the final video um, of this keyboard will be showing you how to use the six track sequencer. And then that's it for the Casio keyboard. I'd love to show you all the demo song. I, I, actually, I've already done that. I'd love to show you the sounds and styles, but my phone is a 16 gig phone. And that's not enough to help me do the videos I want to do, of the sounds and styles. So I'll have to do those. I'll have to do these on my terrible, poor quality laptop's camera. Thank you very much for watching. This is Jordan signing off. Saying have a good day, everyone. Take picture. Stop. Take. Stop recording video.